because we, we're talking about these vampire sites, and you, and you know Twilight takes place in Washington State. And I'm putting two and two together here, and I don't know if there's any connection, but let's bring in Michelle Belanchi. She is the author of Vampires in Their Own Words, Own Words and Sacred Hunger. Uh, Michelle, I have to ask you, for someone who is into this lifestyle, who is uh, obsessed with the vampire, the goth, and all that, it seems to me Washington State is sort of the, the focal point of all that stuff. Do you think there could be any connection here that someone who's obsessed with this stuff would want to end up in Washington State in the, in the world of Twilight? Well, certainly Washington State is the home of Twilight's fictional vampire Edward Cullen, but we don't know right now whether she went there because of Twilight, and I do think that all the talk about cults and vampires obscures some real issues. When a kid gets into gothic stuff as a way of acting out, it's often because they feel judged and rejected at home. And the salient question is, why? Why did she go there? Why was that person? And her choice to run away is obviously wrong, but I think we need to hear her reasons to hear the whole story. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And because this is an issue that, you know, we have two parents here that are dealing with it, and we got a whole bunch of parents at home, I'm sure, are going to deal with something like this. Uh, obviously, this gets ramped up a little bit because of the, the vampire connection, but I just wanted to say, Rich and, and, and Wendy, I'm so glad that we can smile and exhale here. I know you, there's a lot of work to be done at home because uh, you've got a 16-year-old girl who, who obviously needs some help and, and needs to have the conversation. So best of luck to you and your family. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. All right. Thanks so much for coming Thank in. You. A happy ending. All right. Up next.